So that's all for today guys. Hello people. So today we will see how to make an obstacle avoiding robot with the help of Arduino. So first thing first, requirements. So first of all you are going to need a chassis this time and two DC motors. I have got 100 RPM motors here. Then you are going to need an ultrasonic sensor HCSR04, a battery, a couple of jumpers, pretty lot of jumpers this time. Then a motor driver module L298. Then you need a DC barrel jack and obviously you are going to need an Arduino board. So without wasting our time, let's get started. Well, I would like to mention that I have bought all these parts from hightechnology.co.in Well, they have got hundreds of kits and thousands of parts including the sensors, motor driver modules, batteries, chassis, wheels, tires and the control boards including the Arduino and the Raspberry Pis and lots of other things. So it would be worth if you give it a shot and as always link is given in the description. So before proceeding, let us divide the connections into two different parts. In the first part, we'll connect the ultrasonic sensor with the Arduino board and in the second part, we'll connect the motor driver module with the motors and the Arduino board. So as you could see, there are four pins, the ground pin, trig pin, the echo pin and the VCC. So as always, VCC goes to the 5 volt supply of the Arduino board, ground goes to the ground terminal of the Arduino board and the trick pin and the echo pin goes to any of the digital pins on the Arduino board. So let's start connecting it. So we have connected the ultrasonic sensor with the Arduino board. Well, if you need a more detailed video on the ultrasonic sensor, check it out my another video in which I have controlled the LED with the help of ultrasonic sensor. So proceeding with our second part of connection, that is the motor driver module. So here is our motor driver module and as you could see there are four output terminals, two on each of the side, the left side and the right side of the module. And these four output terminals would go to the motors. Now as you could see that in our chassis, we have got two wires from each motor. So total of four wires. So we are going to connect these four wires onto the four output terminals of the module. So let's just start connecting them. So now we have connected the output terminals to the motors. So now let's talk about the input pins. Now these four pins which you are able to see, I hope you are able to see, are the input pins of the module. So here we are going to connect four jumpers from the Arduino board to the module. Now let's take jumpers. You could connect any four digital pins of the board to the motor driver module. So I'm going to go for pin number four, five, six and seven. So let's go ahead and connect them as well. So now we have given inputs to the driver module and 
the ultrasonic sensor now these th three terminals are for the power supply so basically it's going to take commands from here and supply through here so now let's connect these three pins the first pin is going to the positive terminal of the external power supply and the second pin is going to the negative terminal of the power supply as well as to the ground of Arduino so let's go ahead and connect them so you could use one of those 9 volt batteries or I have something better I have got this big ass 12 volt 1 ampere lead acid battery I am going to connect this to the module so now we are done with all the connections and yes it it's a mess actually all right so this is our code and we have assigned pin numbers to our variables in the beginning pin number 9 and 10 for echo and the trick pin then we have assigned pin number 4 5 6 and 7 for the motors forward left pin number 7 this means that the left motor will turn in such a way that it will lead to the forward motion of the robot and so on then in our void setup we have declared pins as output pins then in void loop this is the part which calculates the distance first the trigger pin triggers a pulse then the echo pin receives it and then this formula calculates the distance by measuring the time duration then when it's simple right over here if the distance is greater than 25 cm then pin number 5 and 7 will be high when turned on then the bot will move in the forward motion then if the distance is less than 25 cm the right motor will continue to move in the forward direction while the left one it would reverse the direction which will let the bot take a turn simple right okay then nothing much here let's move to our testing so now that we are done with our connections and the coding part now we will move to our testing part so as you could see the red wire of the motor driver module i have connected it to the positive terminal of the battery and we will connect the negative pin as well and now as you could see we have powered the motor driver module now we would power our arduino as well now we have the 9 volt battery over here let's power it up so the arduino has also been powered so i don't know whether you are able to see this black wire the moment i insert this wire into the ground pin of the arduino board this thing will start running so better i hold it up and now insert it okay all right so according to our code when i bring my hand or any obstacle in the front of ultrasonic sensor and the distance is less than 25 cm then the left wheel or the tire would move in the reverse direction so as you could see the tire changes the direction of rotation so now testing it on the ground
so that's all for today guys i hope you learned something today and the link for the code is given in the description also if you want to buy the parts then the link for the website is also given in the description well if you found the video tutorial easy to follow and if you liked it then please leave us a like below if you face any problems comment down below i'll be glad to help you more interesting videos are coming soon until then adios sayonara goodbye bye bye